I'm gonna show you how to level up your mobile streaming with the Streamlabs mobile app, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In addition to Streamlabs making a very efficient effort at helping creators monetize their live streams, which I'm gonna talk about here later on in this video, but in addition to that, they also have a really cool mobile app that's gonna help you level up what it is that you're doing with your mobile live streams. So I'm gonna give you a tour of the Streamlabs mobile app. I'm gonna show you some of the really cool features in here that can really help you level up your mobile live streams. Let's go to the phone and I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on. Okay, so here we are at the phone. The very first thing that I want you to look at is right up here in the top is the menu option. I want you to tap on that. Now what you're gonna see is you're going to see the live option, you're gonna see the editor, you're gonna see the alert profiles, remote control settings and support options here. Now the one thing that I want to really bring your attention to here is the actual editor itself, this one right here. So I'm gonna tap on that. Now when I click on the editor, what you're seeing right now on the screen are basically things that Streamlabs has added to the mobile version that you could normally only get on the desktop version. So a lot of people want the chat on the screen. A lot of people want subscribers to be notified on the screen when they actually subscribe. A lot of people want the people that donate or tip them to also be recognized. And these boxes right here are going to allow you to do that. Now, if you look right down here, there's gonna be this little green icon. Now, if we tap on that, what you're gonna see here is you have all of the different options for all of the different boxes that you can add here. If you have like a donation countdown, a donation goal that you wanna do, um, if you wanna have the viewer count on here, follower goals, all of this stuff, you can customize it however you want. You can add whatever boxes that you want to add in terms of the alerts that you wanna to add to your mobile live stream. With these, you can also add text, you can add images, pretty much anything that you want, you can add it here in this section and it's absolutely awesome and it really helps your stream look a lot more pro. Now, you'll see over here on the side we have the on-stream option, we have the preview option. If you click on these, the difference is the on-stream option means that only the people watching the stream are gonna see it. And the on-preview option means that only you are going to see it. So what you want, if you wanna see it and you want them to see it, then you wanna make sure that you have both of those selected. But once you pick the boxes that you want and you have those in place, then we're gonna click OK. Now, another thing that's really cool that takes this whole thing up another notch, up to another level, so to speak, is let's say that I want my chat to be over on the other side then what I can do is I can just tap on each little area and I can drag it around my screen to where it fits my setup the way that I want it to and it's fully customizable that way. Pretty cool, right? Now we're gonna go back up into the menu area. The next thing you're gonna see here is the alert profiles. Now, the reason this is so cool is because let's say that sometimes you stream on your computer, sometimes you stream on your mobile device. Well, what this is gonna let you do is this is going to let you select whatever profile it is that you want. So you can design one for your mobile device, you can design one for your desktop, so that regardless of where you are, you just pick whichever one you wanna use here and apply that one to your mobile device, which makes it really, really awesome and fully customizable. Now when we go back to the menu again. The next thing that I wanna point out to you here is the remote control option right here. Now I made an entire video about this and I'm gonna put a link to it at the top of the screen right now. I highly recommend that you go check that out. Next up in the list is the settings option. Now, what this is gonna do is this is going to, of course, let you make sure at the top here that you connect to the right platform. Next up is your Twitch ingest. If you're a Twitch streamer, this is gonna let you choose which server that you're using on Twitch. Same thing with Mixer. And then your broadcast is the one that I wanna bring your attention to. With this, let's say that you're having a really laggy stream. Well, a way that you can fix that is you can adjust the frame rate, you can adjust your max video bit rate. You know, let's say at 10,000, 13,000, 48,000, if you have a really good connection, is fantastic. But if you don't have a good connection, using a 48,000 kilobyte per second video bit rate is really gonna mess your stream up. So in that case, then you say, okay, well, this is what I'm working with, so I'm gonna reduce mine down to, let's say, 2,500 or 1,000, depending on what it is that you're actually dealing with in terms of your internet connection. So that can help your streams look better if you adjust this accordingly. Same exact thing applies to your output resolution. Here, you can go with 360p, which I wouldn't recommend, but if you have to, go for it. 720, which is a really common setting right now in live streaming, especially if you're coming through on a mobile device. And they let you do 1080p, of course, which is the HD version, which is taking it up even another notch, but just make sure you have an internet connection that supports that frame size. Pretty cool, right? So if you're a mobile live streamer, this is all free. You can get this for free and you can start using this right now. Did you know that you can also make money with Streamlabs OBS? I'm talking real money if you're a live streamer, even if your channel's not monetized. Check this out. In addition to the normal donations on Streamlabs, they also made it to where you can take cryptocurrency now. And another way that you can 
monetize in addition to the donations, in addition to the cryptocurrency tips, is you can also even sell merchandise through your Streamlabs account. I mean, how is that for looking out for creators? So if you are a live streamer and you're not using Streamlabs, you're not using Streamlabs OBS or the Streamlabs mobile app, now's the time to get on board. I'm gonna put links to everything that I talked about down in the description below. And the link that I have right up here at the top of the screen, click that now to see more tutorials and more reviews and more showcases on different Streamlabs products. So you can change the way that you live stream forever. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.